Tommy Retro here. Want to take the opportunity. It's uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day weekend. So, got a bonus day off on Monday. And I had some time today to do a quick video. So, want to kind of catch up with the uh, the videos, the pickup videos from last summer. So even though right now it's in the single digits, had a big snowstorm yesterday, spent all day plowing. Finally, was able to plow here last night, get things scraped up before it turned super cold. But, uh, but even though it's single digits, it's frigid out here. Well, I'll, I'll show you some clips. I got clips from summertime. Kind of want to catch up with my pickup videos. So, we've got here a 1971 Crown Super Coach. And it is a 90 passenger bus. It's a big one, tandem axle. Pardon the snow crunching under my feet here. But you can see it's a tandem. Got this bus in, oh, where was it? Just outside Kalamazoo, Michigan. And it was one of those where, you know, it was advertised. The owner was hard to get a hold of. The pictures online uh, were absolutely terrible. Um, really did not do the bus justice and I figured well I seen a listing come up and the price had been reduced so I figured what the heck we'll go take a look at it and we were pleasantly surprised so picked this up in Kalamazoo Michigan that was probably oh Maybe a 200 mile trip, it wasn't bad at all. Uh, 200, 250 mile trip. But, uh, you know, one way. But the bus ran fine. Uh, needs a clutch adjustment. I did notice slippage, so uh, was real careful. Uh, just squeezed the throttle gently so that it wouldn't break loose. But let's scope it out. So the buses are resting for the winter time. I always do the normal, uh, normal for me, the uh, mothballs all over the place, a little bit of stuff just in case they get in here and they don't make it very long. A little decon, looks like I gotta uh, replenish it. That's one of the uh, battles about, you know, storing buses and having stuff like this is uh, you know the mice and the rodents will destroy what you've got going on in a relatively short amount of time so it's important to uh, keep up on that stuff keep these things out so mothballs seem to be a great way to go and then like I say uh, I always keep a little bit of decon on so if they do get on they don't make it very long so Again, 1971 Crown Super Coach. Missing one, two, three, four, five of the seats. So if anybody knows of any Crown seats to be had, I see on uh, Facebook, and uh, it's hard for me to swallow, but I see a lot of these classic buses being converted into you know the tiny host uh, excuse me the tiny house thing and uh, you know RV conversions and that which don't get me wrong I appreciate them they breathe a lot of life into these buses so they don't go to the scrapyard I much rather see them get used than scrapped but the seats most uh, most often are taken out and just thrown away so if anybody's doing a a crown a tiny home and you've got donor seats, I would really appreciate them. Definitely uh, send me a message 
and uh, I would love to work with you on that. But uh, but like I say, I uh, I support the tiny house thing. Uh, in lieu of buses going to the scrap, but of course, whenever possible, I like to see them preserved in their original condition. Uh, this bus, uh, kind of the backstory on it, what I was told, it was in service out in, um, out on the west coast. I have a picture, and I'll try to dig it up, and I'll, I'll try to put a splash screen on the video here of the uh, original picture from when it was in service. Um, I'll, I'll do that and then uh, it was in service till probably about 20 years ago so that would put that about the you know late 90s early 2000s and then it was brought out to Kalamazoo Michigan and um, where it sat in the field for 20 years somebody had some ambitions there um, the you know pulled some seats kind of started doing some stuff and then it just sat so I think the owner maybe had some health problems then uh, sat in the field for 20 years uh, after a cleanup it was acquired by a uh, basically a, a scrapper a junkyard and then it was uh, saved and sold basically from there um, so so that's the story that I know of it I was really happy to you know to see when I picked this up I did some posting on Facebook on the uh, you know the vintage school bus archives uh, page or group I should say and uh, I mean within minutes I had a picture posted so a big shout out to who uh, sent that picture over uh, I forget who it is at this current time but uh, it was awesome within minutes I had a picture of the bus in service this uh, this bus is um, number 2671 I believe if we can take a look on the outside here when we get out there just to verify that but take a look at the controls it needs uh, you know, like anything else needs restoration looks like a cast aluminum dash this has got the uh, 250 horse Cummins in it a pancake engine uh, it's got a 10 speed air split transmission so you don't go anywhere fast. Looks like a replacement driver's seat here. Updated steering wheel from what would have been in it. But uh, but yeah, so drove it home from Kalamazoo. Didn't have any issues. Noticed the clutch situation, so I took it easy with that. But uh, there you go. Oregon, in service in Oregon. So there's the... Uh, Regulations, pupils riding school buses from the Oregon Department of Transportation. It's kind of neat. I don't know if you can see that with the lighting in here. But, uh, but this bus was in service in Oregon. And see if I can see it. Yep, there it is. 2671 was its original numbers. But drove it back, ran great. Um, engine fires it up, runs smooth. It's uh, it's it's got some uh, markings on the engine, uh, having a recent rebuild, probably uh, right before it came out of service. You know, I think it was uh, some noted rebuilding in the 90s, but uh, but it runs great. I will uh, I'll play some uh, some clips for you of the ride back, uh, some riding and driving. So whatever I've got. I go through the library and I'll put some clips together. Um, I'll also show you a picture of what it looked like when I picked it up, um, which was a, uh, I'll show it to you right now, um, a picture, not when I picked it up, but when, uh, when it was purchased from the scrap company. Um, it kind of looked pretty dilapidated. And then the person I purchased this bus from uh, ended up fixing a couple of windows, putting some tires on it, and uh, getting it roadworthy. So, so I'll take the uh, the 20 year picture. I'm gonna splash it up on the screen right now, so you can take a look at that. And then, uh, you know, as you see here, what my footage today, what the bus looks like today. So I'm gonna roll those clips right now, 
Uh, you can see they're riding and driving, and then I'll be back. Enjoy.
Well, I hope you enjoyed those clips. Uh, again, it was uh, a great summer. I, I definitely call it the summer of acquisitions. Uh, a lot of cool buses this summer. Uh, you know, and the thing is they're going to be harder to find. And I was really surprised to find a tandem coach like this, um, you know, basically east of the Rocky Mountains. You don't see this stuff out here. So that's why uh, we picked it up. And... Uh, it's uh, awaiting restoration here at the, the Tommy Retro uh, fleet location. So, you know, this year is going to be more restoration work. What have I got in the works right now? I actually, um, I've got, I'm working um, a deal with, uh, with a good friend of mine to acquire a couple of buses. And so uh, putting together the details on that. Uh, as we speak so fingers crossed that everything goes goes through goes as planned but uh, but I have a bus acquisition here in the works as we speak um, one of the big things around here this year is going to be infrastructure uh, we did build the road to get across the to cross the creek here but I need more more parking area because we're we're uh, just about out of room here just about out of room and so we've got to uh, get uh, get adequate parking in place, and you know uh, we will you know we will be selling some stuff here to thin the herd a bit. Uh, the band bus, if anybody's interested in this uh, in the uh, 84, reach out, let me know. That'll be for sale. I'm gonna use some uh, do some swapping. I should say I'm gonna do some swapping with it before it goes for sale. Uh, thinking about putting the engine. Uh, engine and tranny into the blue bus next to the garage there that's the uh, the 83 Wayne and uh, taking the transmission out of the the uh, 83 Wayne and putting it in the Chevy Thomas the 88 Chevy Thomas because uh, that transmission is a chipped tooth and then kind of taking what's left and putting it back in this bus getting that 350 running and putting it back in this bus and uh, probably with uh, a little older set of tires and then that'll be then that'll be for sale um, you know at, at that point so that's kind of what's in the workings here it's winter time super cold right now so not a whole lot going on other than that that bus deal that again I got my fingers crossed that we can make that happen super excited about it and once I have more information on that I can bring it to you and share it with you um, that's about all I have it's the middle of January uh, a couple of months we'll start seeing some spring like weather and we'll get back at it other than that I'm gonna try to catch up with my footage that I've got so I hope you enjoyed today's video uh, again Tommy Retro here I hope you uh, have a good rest of your day or night take care <laughs>